In today's video, I'll be showing you guys a bunch of new Blender add-ons that you will definitely find useful. This one is exciting because we've got new releases of popular add-ons, lots of interesting AI add-ons, and other add-ons for texturing, geometry nodes, and more. Before we continue, there aren't many things that all 3D artists can agree upon, but one thing that I think every single 3D artist can get behind is that UV mapping or UV unwrapping sucks. It is repetitive and boring, but it doesn't have to be that way when you have the right tools. And the one I want to recommend today is Rhizom UV. If you don't know Rhizom UV, then you really should. It is a complete package when it comes to unwrapping, mapping, packing, editing, and so on. Whenever you need it, it allows you to effortlessly work on your models with the least amount of effort possible. Because it is intuitive, simple, and most importantly, it is really powerful. This software flows under the radar for many artists but it is extremely popular among professionals in the industry like game development or VFX, and it is constantly being updated. Just in this year in 2024, there are improved UV editing, powerful trimming, and UV island tagging customizations, in addition to an interface overhaul and improved performance across the board. So if you work in 3D, whether you are a character artist, a game developer, an architect, or anything else, you owe it to yourself to try Ryzen UV at least once in your life. And to take advantage of the special offer, enter the code INSPIRE20 at checkout to get 20% off of your first purchase. Again, that's INSPIRE20 at checkout. And without further ado, let's jump right into the video. To kick things off, we're gonna start with a popular add-on that was already impressive. But thanks to the latest update, it is now faster and smoother than ever. Kinops is a very useful Blender add-on that simplifies working with complex 3D models and assets. It basically allows you to quickly build and explore new designs by dragging and dropping pre-made pieces called inserts. And these inserts can be used to add or cut shapes in hard surface models or even create brand new objects quickly. And what sets GitOps apart is how it outforms Blender's default asset browser. Since it makes organizing assets, applying materials and adding decals very straightforward. And with the latest update, the add-on is now 10 times faster according to the developer. So if you're curious about the technical changes, check out the documentation to see everything that you will need. Now let's talk about how to automate certain tasks using AI tools with this add-on called Blend AI, Smart Assistant and Tools. From what I can see, this is an AI-powered assistant right inside Blender. And it is all about automating tasks in every aspect of your 3D workflow. What I mean by that is that it is a tool that can generate textures and reference images in no time. So if you ever find yourself needing help with a feature inside Blender, just open the chat and Blend AI will provide expert advice without having to leave the program. It is like having a knowledgeable guy right within the software. And for those aiming to create high resolution 4K images without the long wait times, this add-on offers fast image upscaling, which is a fantastic feature to have within Blender, I think. Plus, it doesn't stop at just giving you the basics, because this add-on also offers instant tips to make your renders look even better, and it feels like someone with knowledge is giving you advice about how to use the software. Next, we have an add-on that will literally tear your objects apart in the best possible way. Tear Painter is a Blender add-on that of course uses geometry nodes to add realistic tear and imperfections to your cloth objects. Like, uh, for example, whether you are working on jeans, scarves, or any type of fabric, this add-on, I think, can make it easier for you to make objects or clothes look torn and imperfect. But this tool isn't about just adding random rips, because from what I can see, it gives you a lot of control over how you can do it. With its layer detail system, you can adjust each layer separately, which gives you a lot of freedom. And to start using it, simply drag and drop your chosen preset onto the object in the 3D viewport, create two vertex groups, and start painting. But just make sure that the UV maps are set up correctly, with no overlapping and proper scaling in order to get the best results. And generally speaking, this makes Tear Painter a great tool for anyone who wants to add a touch of realism to their Blender projects, especially if you have a lot of clothes to make and you can't afford the time and effort to make these effects and adjustments manually every time. 
Now let's tackle something that should be interesting to anyone who want to include 3D text to their 3D renders and animations, either for product animations or explain of videos or anything that requires 3D text, because this add-on called QuickFont is all about making fonts. So yeah, generally it is about typography and using this add-on will give you freedom from the boring tasks of scrolling through hundreds of fonts to get the one that you want. Simply put, this add-on gives you instant access to over 87,000 fonts straight from the web. And it even displays all of these fonts right inside of Blender so you don't have to exit the software and go online to find something that interests you. On top of that, you can set up a custom fonts folder which I think gives you quick access to something that you will use regularly. Plus, finding the perfect font has never been easier thanks to an interactive search bar that narrows down your options as you type, making your font selection process faster and more enjoyable. Now, again with an AI Blender add-on, we have Auto Depth AI, which is an add-on that automatically generates depth maps from your images which depending on how you see this, gives these images a 3D effect that really can stand out. But this is just the beginning. This add-on also lets you create images from simple text prompts, so you can just type a description, and the add-on will bring you the idea directly in your Blender's viewport. It also takes care of displacement mapping, so you don't have to deal with manual adjustments. And from what I can see, the interface is designed to be user-friendly. In addition to this, the add-on can be used with terrains, architectural visualization, digital art, and more, depending on your use case and the complexity of your project. Because AI is making progress, but it is not there yet. So if you have a very complex project, probably this add-on is not gonna be for you. But if you have something simple and you wanna do it on the fly, then this one can help. Still with AI tools, we have another add-on called Blender AI Library Pro, which is an add-on that kind of brings a whole suite of advanced AI tools directly into Blender. Basically, you can create 3D models just by typing out the description and the AI will do the rest. So it allows you to generate high quality images from text prompts and convert images into 3D models. But it doesn't stop there, because you can also generate realistic PBR materials from text and even create HDRIs from prompts to enhance the lighting of your scene. But as you know with AI, it is still not perfect, so don't expect it to be. I should also say that everything is integrated right within Blender and the interface is super simple and easy to understand. And with built-in tools like Instant Mesh AI for converting 2D inputs into 3D meshes, Stable Diffusion AI for diverse image generation, and OpenAI Shape E-Model for amazing shape creation, you've got everything you will need to create 3D models better than before because this is a continuous process that is evolving with AI. From AI, now let's focus on texturing with the next add-on called Texture Blender. Basically, this add-on started off with a single texture, I mean texture blend node, but later it grew into a set of tools that can make working with textures much more efficient. Whether you need blend textures, add artistic effects like puddles and wear, or deal with texture tiling issues, this add-on, I think, can offer something for you. One of its usual features is the Masks Texture Breakup node, which helps you apply textures to masks in a more natural way. And for those dealing with repetitive patterns, the Untiler Mapper node is gonna be of great help, taking care of UVs and triplanar mapping. Plus, the Normal Map Rotator node helps you keep your normal maps properly oriented after using the Untiler Mapper. The add-on also includes custom mapping inputs for extra control, making it a versatile tool for environments, characters, and props. It is straightforward and integrates well into the workflow, which kind of helps with making textures, I mean, time and effort-wise. Now, if you want something precise and to have control over what you're creating, you probably should focus on technical precision and dimensions. Well, with this Blender add-on dimensions and lines, this is going to be simplified with the creation of dimensions, technical drawings and blueprints, similar to what you would expect in CAD programs. And using this tool enables you to easily add dimensions with your mouse, keeping the process intuitive and efficient. 
The add-on also allows you to create mesh lines from edges without altering the original model, ensuring everything stays neat and organized. And with its built-in snapping system, aligning objects, which is something that a lot of people struggle with or they don't do well, is gonna be easier or maybe even effortless. You can also adjust render resolution to match specific DPI settings for precise output. And for anyone looking to bring cat-like precision into Blender projects, this add-on is probably something that you should be considering right now. Next up we have Simple Texture Painter, which is an add-on that makes texture painting more intuitive and flexible. This one lets you paint directly on your models and see the results in real time without affecting the original model until you're ready. Basically, it is great for creating detailed textures, especially for close. And the add-on keeps your painted meshes separate, so you can choose to merge them later or turn them into standalone objects, giving you more control. The tool, generally speaking, is all about simplicity, and it supports multiple layers and custom textures, and works smoothly with most PBR and procedural materials. While it may not have the bells and the whistles of specialized software, its integration with Blender makes texturing a lot easier. In a similar vein, we have an add-on called StarYam Quick Measure, which is a handy new Blender add-on that lets you measure areas, distances, volumes, and angles right inside your 3D viewport. And what I like about the add-on is that it measures different things based on your selection. For example, you can go into the edit mode and in the point mode, and if you select a single vertex, you will get all of its corner angles displayed right next to the angles themselves. Now, if you select multiple points, it's the same as you select an edge, and you will get the length as well as a delta for each axis, which is really nice. And now you can select multiple faces and actually get the local area surface, which is really cool to have. The add-on also considers object scale, ensuring accurate measurement even with scaled objects, so you won't have to worry about applying your scale. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.